If you can see it here and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. Vision is believing in the possibility of what could be, right? Seeing something in here, maybe not seeing it out here, but you see it here. And you know that with faith, persistence, dedication, consistency, it will come to fruition. Change doesn't happen by chance. It requires action. It starts with knowing yourself inside and out. Confront the uncomfortable truths. Let go of the masks, the illusions, and the lies you tell yourself. Self-discovery is messy. It's painful. It's relentless. But it's the most rewarding journey you'll ever go on. Don't stop now. You know, everybody's always talking about wanting to be at the end state in the winner's circle or across the finish line. What they really should be wishing for or wanting to be is the person that it takes to get to the finish line. The finish line is not the victory, it's the try, it's the, the competition along the way, it's the perseverance, the pursuit of excellence, the grit and determination that gets you actually to the winner's circle or across that finish line, that's the real victory. The victory is in the try, the determination, the intestinal fortitude that it takes, the ability to get up when life knocks you down. The willingness to go one more step and one more rep when nobody else will. The willingness to be out there when there's nobody cheering for you and nobody keeping you accountable. It's just you. You need to love pain. If not, stay away. I had this fire that I'm going to be somebody. And it has to be there because on all those bad days and all those days you don't want to do shit, you have to be your own motivator, your own coach, your own, your own trainer, your own everything. You're gonna pursue success in your life. You have to decide you're gonna be on a road that most people are not on. But the truth is, the journey to success can be a very painful journey and you can feel very alone. And it's designed that way. Is the feeling of uncertainty that you don't know if all of the work that you've been spending all of your nights and weekends and off time investing in will ever pay off. And so it's this fear that you're wasting your time. But the reality is that the outcome isn't the thing that you're building. The person you are is the person that you're building and that continues to work. The work works on you more than you work on it. And so it's about who we become while doing the work more than the outcome from the work itself. Reminder for the gladiators in the arena who feel beat up and scarred with no hope in sight. Hard feels shitty. This is what hard feels like. And this is why most people can't do it, but you can. Man, it's always going to be a party. It's always going to be a time to celebrate and a time to join friends. And I mean, the bars are always open, always open. What's not always open is the opportunity to, to check the box in life, you know, to achieve your dreams. That's not always open. Man. Success doesn't come generally in monumental drops. It comes from small decisions made over and over again every hour of every day. It comes from making commitments to yourself to do what it takes, even when you don't feel like it. It comes from keeping those commitments. If you wait to take action until you're motivated, you probably never will. Those who are successful take action anyway. They take action when they don't feel well. They take action when other people are telling them they're going to fail. They take action when things aren't going their way. They take action when things don't look right. Go take action. That's what brings success. I think you're actually right on the road you're supposed to be when it's hard. Oftentimes we want the finish line without running the race. Just because it's hard doesn't mean that it's not meant for you. It doesn't mean that this isn't supposed to happen. It just means that you are in the middle of a process and you have to stay on that process. And that if it was easy, everybody would achieve it. It's just you and your heart and your gut telling you, keep going. Even when you fail along the way, you know that that victory is down there. That victory is every day getting better at who you are so you can be better in all you do. Pushing through the adversity, going after it, celebrating the triumphs, and getting through the tragedies. Everything that it takes to get to the winner's circle, that's where the victory is at.
It's getting out there, taking that first step and continuing to pursue it. Even when it's hard, especially when it's hard, that's the real victory. And through that victory, we gain the winner's circle. Things might be tough right now, but you're tougher. You might've experienced the worst. And I know that bouncing back from all the times that you broke down wasn't easy, but you chose to stay and keep fighting. Just know that you have a purpose. The world needs you. Life will get better and you'll make it through just like you always have. There are many ways to get the things that we want for ourselves in our lives. It all begins with how we choose to think. As you think, so shall you be. Seven little words that I think are perhaps the most important things that we can learn and master in our lives. This old proverb notion that I become what I think about all day long. And once you know that what you think about is what expands, you start getting real careful about what you think about. Everyone has the possibility to unlock something very, very special about him or herself. And it's up to your actions. Ultimately, it's you yourself who also is able to unlock it. Doing the same things, hoping to be a better person. Expecting the same things out of the externals, hoping that would be different. The only way that you can conquer yourself in the move past this is the renewing of one's mind. In order for a man to gain his life, he must lose his life. So you've got to be willing to die to who you are now, to give birth to who you are to become. I understand just how hard it is to work every single day to try to be great. Everybody is excited in the beginning. Like New Year, everybody started in January, jam's back every year. You get to February and March, habits matter. Habits matter. Principles matter. How you view what you're doing and trying to accomplish matters. If you want to achieve success, you're going to have to pay the price. And it won't be cheap. It'll be tireless nights, long days, isolation, loneliness, tribulation, heartaches, headaches, and a lot of pain. But on the other side of pain is pleasure. On the other side of pain is success. Those who have left their mark in this world believe that they were chosen for something great. And a lot of us think that it's just the special ones who get to live out their dreams. It's not those who are special. It's those who believe. It's not those who are magically chosen. It's those who choose to be chosen. Epictetus' question was, how much longer are you gonna wait to demand the best of yourself? We all know we have potential. We all know we have things we need to stop doing. We all know we have things that we should start doing, but we tell ourselves we'll do it later. But will you? So tell yourself the truth about the situation that you're in. That's what we need to do. And it should hurt a little bit, by the way. It should hurt a little bit. There should be aspects of your life that you know you can improve upon. That should hurt a little bit. Here's the cool thing. Take ownership of those things and guess what? It doesn't hurt at all. Now guess who's in control? You are. But if you're having trouble finding discipline, start by telling yourself the truth about what's going on. You can have what you want in five years, but there's two conditions. You have to know what it is and you have to aim at it. Figure out what you want. Write it down. Figure out what you could do to start moving towards that. Develop a vision. And you have to do that in dialogue with yourself, right? It's like, if I could have what I wanted, what would satisfy me? And you might think, well, I could never get that. And I could say, well, maybe not, but I'll tell you one thing, man. You can move towards it. And I know almost all the pleasure is in the moving toward. Let me tell you a secret. No one does when they begin. Ideas don't come out fully formed. They only become clear as you work on them. You just have to get started. The idea of a single eureka moment is a dangerous lie. It makes us feel inadequate because we feel like we haven't had ours yet. 
and it prevents people with seeds of good ideas from ever getting started in the first place. Be prepared to be misunderstood. Anyone working on a big vision is going to get called crazy, even if you end up right. In our society, we often don't take on big things because we're so afraid of making mistakes that we ignore all the things wrong today if we do nothing. People should know that you never will be able to go through life without failures. Failures make us learn. Uh, failures make you stronger. Pain makes you stronger. So I think all of that is good. Write everything you want on a piece of paper. Everything. I don't care. Use your wildest imagination. If you can think it, you can achieve it. Write it on a piece of paper. Read it every morning and every night. Come back here one year from today and see how much of that stuff then came true. It's easier to live a life you hate than it is to live a life you love. Doing what you love can be hard because we live in a world that encourages the opposite. But that doesn't mean it's right for you. No one can decide what struggle or success looks like in someone else's life. You get to choose that. And if you don't, then society will decide for you. People will belittle your plan. People will tell you that you have the wrong vision. People will tell you that it will not work. But here's the thing. It's not their vision. It's your vision. It wasn't given to them, but there will be people who will try to tear it down, who will tell you you don't have what it takes, who will tell you that this is impossible, who will tell you that you need to be realistic, but nothing great has ever happened from being realistic in their own hearts. Small minds cannot see a big plane. The higher you fly, the deeper you fall, okay? So if you want to fly high, do it. But if you fly high without somebody telling you before you're starting the flight that there will also come the descent, then I think it's kind of blind. Just keep it in mind that there is something in our lifetime which is always balancing out. This idea of being happy is this concept that people have been sold, right? That life is about happiness. Mm -hmm. But what if life wasn't about happiness? What if life is about experiencing every aspect and every emotion that life has? Wouldn't you want to experience the full set and range of emotions that life has to offer you? The sadness, the heartbreaks, the joy. When you have butterflies and you're feeling anxious and you have anxiety or are nervous, um, that's when you're most powerful, I believe. A lot of people, instead of homing this power and using it, they allow it to just consume them. A big challenge or big pressure is like a fire. It's like a raging fire. Either you can allow this fire to consume you and just take you over completely, or you can gain control of this fire and harness it. If you can dream it, it can potentially become yours with the right energy input, the amount of work ethic necessary, and a good attitude. Understand that you have one life. How you live it is your choice, but life will pass you by. You don't want to be the person that wakes up 30, 40, 50 years from now and regrets what they did. I never like to look back mm -hmm. because it's just... There's really not much in it for me, right? It's just, I always like to look forward. Do I want to look out the windshield or do I want to look through the rear? I'd rather look forward because I know where I'm going then rather than always looking at the back. If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. And that bill from regret is generation. And the only way that bill gets paid off is you gotta be willing to make the hardest decisions. The energy required to start doing something is way more than the energy required to continue doing the thing. And that the beginning of doing anything results in the lowest amount of reward, both internal and external, than when you've been doing it for ages. The only reason why you're not living the life that you actually want to live is because you keep on feeding the life that you don't want to live. Day by day, keep on feeding the life that you don't want to live. 
that's a lesson that people need to hear and learn. It's so important because everybody just wants to be comfortable. Everybody wants to sit on the couch. I don't want to go outside. It's cold. I don't want to do this. It's hot. Like you've got to do things that you don't want to do because you show your body that your mind is the boss. It's telling your body what to do and then you have control. You got to do something, man. Right? If years and years pass and you're just the same dude, then you're not really living in a way. I kind of feel like you're just being pushed through life. I think people are where the f they deserve to be. And if you look at what they did over the last 10 years, their life is going to look exactly what it should look like. If you can't become aware of your own internal dialogue and you can't start to have control over your own internal dialogue and you can't start to tell the bitch voice that you have in your head to sit the f down and shut up, you're going to have a very hard time making any year your year. In failure and in suffering, all the answers are in there. All the answers to all the test questions, the test is your life. All the answers are in there. You have to live in suffering and pain and failure all the time. You have to learn, I need to visit it. I'm not gonna negotiate with my goal. Like I've been negotiating sometimes with my goal. The time in my life where I'm most successful, there's no negotiation. A friendly reminder that in three generations, everyone who knew us will be dead including the people whose opinions stopped you from doing what you wanted all along. Imagine that someone you know achieves every dream and hits every goal they have. Years later, they get old and die. Two years after that, how much do you care? About as much as everyone else will if you accomplish your goals and dreams. Do it for you. Consistency, 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 man. That's the name of the game, bro. Don't get much simpler than that. If you keep going every single day and don't stop, they ain't ready for prime time. They ain't trying to really get right. Grind every day, one foot in front of the other, bro. And I promise you, you're gonna be lapping these folks, bro. Give it a year. Watch what happens. Just do. You're living. How do you want to live? How do you want to die? How do you want to be remembered? That's that's it. Nobody can destroy you if you won't let them. Whenever I get to a low point where I think, why do I even bother? I just remind myself, this is where most people stop, and this is why they don't win. You gotta fucking fight. It's hard. It's hard as f You're gonna have days where you don't wanna do anything. You're gonna have days where getting out of bed is the hardest motherfucking thing you ever did in your life. You gotta get the fuck up, and you gotta get in the fucking fight. Get serious. That's number one. I don't know any substitute for that. You've really got to get serious. You don't have to be grim. But you must be serious. Go from average to fortune, you must get serious. And you must get serious about two very important things. Number one is setting your goals and where you want to go. Designing the next five, the next 10 years is so vitally important. What do you want to do economically? Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? You gotta keep working. Your time's gonna come, trust me. Just keep working. You're not getting what you want, keep working. You are getting what you want, keep working. You gotta work. Your time is, is gonna happen. You're here for a reason, but you gotta be ready because if you're not, it's on you. The reinvention occurs in the micro actions that you're taking every single day. The tiny little things that, that perhaps no one even notices that are creating muscle memory around new behaviors that perhaps are very uncomfortable to you. Tiny little things repeated over time is what produces dramatic change. I'll get to it tomorrow. I'm like, who promised you that? Right? I'll get to it a month from now. I'm like, who promised you that? Right? Because life changes so quick. We live our lives and we feel as if we're promised something. Right? But when you think about it, it's like when we try to control things. But when you really think about the macro of life and the grand scheme of life, we really don't have any control. We can control what we possess. Emotions, attitude, thought process, perspective, how we speak, how we respond. But just life in general, we have no control of that. How bad do you want this? If it's as bad as you want to live, breathe, or sleep, I can work with you. Most people don't want it that badly. You know how to do it. You know exactly how to be you or how to be me. You don't want to do it. And you are willing to strip yourself down to nothing and give everything. That's who I want to work with. To get there, luck ain't gonna happen. You have to put yourself in that situation, man. It takes a lot of work. 
stay focused. Don't listen to nobody. What's on your mind, just do it. Because what's destined for you, you're going to get it. Grit, you need it when the chips are down. And it all comes from the mind. I'm struggling here. I need to do something to get myself out of this problem. And that's where you get grit. You think, well, I'm going to do it. The mind tells me I'm going to do it. The body is weak. The body is tired. But the grit will get me through it. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. Why not? Why not see how much you can earn? Why not see how much you can learn? Why not see how many skills you can develop? Why not see what kind of person you can become? Why not see what kind of influence you can have? At the end of every day, you look yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, did I get better today? If the answer is yes, and you do that for five years, 10 years, 15 years, how much better are you going to be? Are you getting better every single day? That's the question. And it's just taking small steps. You don't try to get it all done in one day, in one week, in one year. It's the process of getting better every day and doing that for a period of years that then create the masterpiece. I want to ask you a question. What are your fears? What are you scared of? Something that's blocking us, that's holding us back. Some people call fear false evidence appearing real. Suffering is a part of life. It is something that you cannot avoid, and the more you try to avoid it, the more you prolong its impact on your life. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. That's why the conversations that you have to have with yourself have to be engaging, have to be empowering. You gotta speak life over you when it feels like death is all around you. You have to speak up and not allow yourself to be put on mute because when you suffer in silence, someone else suffers as well. Suffering teaches you how to survive. It teaches you how to thrive. It teaches you how to win because when you come out of suffering, you come out a survivor. And what survivors have is a game plan in life of how to make it and how to sustain. And when others find the road is clear, it's because you cleared the road for them. That's the challenge of understanding that suffering doesn't last always. But you can always outlast the suffering. You will face pain on this way. Accept the pain. Smile at the pain. Embrace the pain. Zbogom. Pain is the gatekeeper of destiny. Pain is there to ask you one simple question. Do you really want to achieve your goals or are you just a talker? Purpose. No one can create your purpose for you. No one can tell you who to be. So in purpose, you have to create your own purpose. And in evolution, you have to evolute towards that purpose. It's easier to live when you have goals to meet. You understand? Identify with what you love. And once you love it, hone in on that thing until you can master it to the point where people can identify that there's no questioning your love for it. There's no replacement for persistence, as simplistic as that is. And if you want to master something, I think that's the thing most people don't do. They read a little bit, they listen a little bit, they dip in and out. They don't go day and night, night and day in total immersion in something that transforms them and also something that makes them push through their fears. Because in the end, that's the only thing that stops me. Everybody's got a story. I didn't know this person. I don't have the resources. They have all the things they don't have. But if you're resourceful, you can get the money, you can get the time, you can get the energy, you can get anything you want times that we should proceed with caution but it's the difference between being stopped by fear it's the difference between having a fear 
and the fear having you. The biggest regret of the dying is never becoming your ideal self. I want to leave this earth becoming who I know deep within I, I am supposed to be. Sometimes you got to stop focusing and thinking about what could have happened or what should have happened. And you got to live in what is happening and focus on surviving it because the quicker you, quicker you can survive it, the quicker you can use it quicker you can extract a lesson from it, the quicker you can glean perspective from it. And for all of us, we're going to encounter those defining moments in our lives, right, to where it's going to hurt. All you have to do is decide not to quit, because within of every one of us is the ability and the DNA to overcome and to win. And when we win, we never know when it's going to happen. But it comes. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week, but the day is coming. And it's not about every dog having this day. It's the fact that you don't allow the day to dog you. You get up and you go after it. You believe and you fight through it. And it, no matter what it is that you're going through, the suffering will come to an end. And you will learn in the suffering that it created pressure. And when the pressure comes, it'll bust the pipe and the dams of life will come open. And that's why you end up in the flow of life that allows you to win. But you gotta believe that the suffering has a purpose, and so do you. If you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. To have more, you simply have to become more. I wish you the courage to be warm when the world would prefer you be cool. I wish you success sufficient to your needs. I wish you failure to temper that success. I wish you joy in all your days. I wish you sadness so that you may better measure joy. I wish you gladness to overbalance the grief. I wish you humor and a twinkle in your eye. I wish you glory and strength to bear the burdens. I wish you sunshine on your path and storms to season your journey. In order for something new to come, something old must go. And that old can sometimes mean let go of what you know until now. Most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality and it doesn't work. You literally have to become someone else. If you keep thinking the same thoughts, keep demonstrating the same behaviors, keep living by the same feelings and emotions, your personal reality is going to stay exactly the same. But if you have new thoughts that lead to new choices, that demonstrate new actions, that create new experiences, that cause you to feel differently, you will begin to walk into a new future. Sometimes you will have to convince yourself that it's possible, that you can go from zero to hero, from peasant to king, if you change the way that you think. And if you don't know how to change the way that you think, begin to digest new information. Stay away from the haters, stay away from the losers, stay away from the people with weak minds and weak mentalities, and find those people that empower you, find those people, elevate your spirit and your soul, and understand that your potential, my friend, is limitless. You, my friend, are limitless but you must believe. And if you can believe, all things are possible. All you have is this moment, so you have to continuously focus on bringing attention to this moment and keep reminding yourself that, what decision can I make in this moment that is aligned with the best version of myself, that is aligned with the vision of where I'm trying to get to? If you look at stories of great men, of great women in history, that story always has a lot of disadvantages that were overcome. There is something in the process of overcoming hardship that creates greatness. Most people quit through that process. If you can survive it, then your story will be a great one. You gotta bet on you. It's so funny that you believe in others. You would bet on others. You would support others. You would be there for others. But when it comes to you, you take a darn back seat. I don't understand it. I'm a bit on me.
I needed somebody and they didn't do it. So I decided at that point, I guess, I don't need you. The only person I need is me. And I'll be damned if I'm ever gonna need somebody. I ain't needing somebody. I'll be damned if I'm ever gonna need somebody again. Don't be afraid of people rejecting. Stick to your guns. That fear, it just withers the soul. It makes what you create just like everything else out there. But when you think, no, I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna mind what's different about me. I'm gonna be bold and confident. Those who are, who are trying to follow all the trends don't have impact. Find out what you're good at. Find out what craft or thing or what are you good at? What you have an aptitude for? Do you like history? Do you like math? Do you like artwork? Do you like music? Do you like, you find out what you have a natural inclination towards. You find out what you're good at. And then you figure out how to help other people with that thing that you're good at. And once you figure that out, that's purpose. Two plus two equals four. So what are you good at? How can you help other people? That's your purpose. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it, you can influence it, you can, you can build your own things that other people can use. Shake off this uh, notion that life is, is there and you're just gonna live in it. Embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. Remember, you guys only have one life on this earth, okay? It's not too late to change everything. Get up, guys. Make today the day. The more I listen to this, the better my life gets. If they don't have what you want, don't listen to what they say. There's no greater waste of time than justifying your actions to people who have a life you don't want. Build a vision of what you would like to accomplish between now and the end of the year. And then make a written description of that vision. Paint the picture with words. Vision. Vision is going to direct your life if you let it. Use it constructively. See what you want. Don't spend any time thinking of what you don't want. When you get a picture in here, make it big, make it beautiful. You'll be glad you did. What we feel is what manifests. It's the energy that we put out that we get back. Claim it in your heart right now. Who do you want to be? How do you want to feel? What do you want to give? And what do you want to receive? And ask yourself that. Design your day every single day. You have the power within you to design your life. What you see is a reflection of what you believe. So are we going to say yes to a new belief system now? Do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. Do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. Don't wait, start right now whether you're ready or not. Just say, I'm going after it, I'm going to get it, and your present circumstance has got nothing to do with where you're going. You've gotta accept yourself for what you've done wrong. Do your best and also find some difficult sh to do because that gets away a lot of the anxiety that you carry around in your body. Difficult things, make regular life less difficult. Anything is possible here that you're only limited by your imagination. Now, it's not gonna be handed to you. You have to, you have to find your way through. And there'll be times that you're going to hit dead ends, but you have to pick yourself back up. You have to be smart. You have to calculate another route, and then you gotta keep moving forward. At some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Everything's gonna go south, and you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I am. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. That's all it is. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem and you solve the next one. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Work hard. Be somebody. Be something more than what you see in the mirror. Let the world be your mirror. Don't let them judge you. Because the mirror can't judge you. You judge what you see in the mirror.
There's a great Chinese expression, a great old proverb. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Just be the best version of yourself in anything that you do. You don't have to live anybody else's story. Sometimes people make it seem like you have to have certain prerequisites or, or a crazy life story in order to be successful in this world. But the truth is, you, you really don't. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you have or don't have, what you lack. All you need to have is an undying passion for what you do and a relentless drive and the will to do whatever it takes to be successful. There's a moment when every boy realizes no one's coming to save him. And that's when he becomes a man. And some boys never get there and stay children forever. You're not allowed to give excuses because excuses are a sign of weakness. We give no excuses when we fail. Failure is just fertilizer to help us grow as a team. Guys, in life, you know, winning isn't everything, but training to win is. Having the will to win, that is everything. Whether you win or not, you people are going to fail. You got to get back up and try it again. But if you don't have the will to win, and you don't train to win, that's where you're really missing, missing the mark, guys. You ever had a gut feeling that Maybe you were meant for more. <laughs> what if you were everything you could be? Fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. We're all trying to improve ourselves. No one's perfect. This is not, I'm not perfect now, I never will be. You're not, and you never will be, but you're better than you were yesterday, and you're gonna be better tomorrow. You know, the greatest lesson my mother ever taught me, when I was a kid, whatever I started, I had to finish it. Whether I got in the midst of something and didn't care for a coach, whether I got in the midst of an organization and didn't care for a leader, my mother would never let me start something and stop because she would always say, the person that you will become by enduring the process is far more important than the person that you have to deal with in the midst of the process. Your present or past results have absolutely nothing to do with what's going to happen from this point forward. You see, I kept thinking, well, gee, I'm such a mess up. You know, I've done everything wrong up till now. I'm 26. I'm broke. I'm not happy. Everything was wrong. That's all in the past. Every moment is a new moment. Success is a strange thing. Presumably, we want success because we think a more successful life will bring us more happiness, meaning, and fulfillment. Here's the problem. We sacrifice the thing we want, happiness, for the thing which is supposed to get it, success. Failure can make you miserable, but I'm not sure that success will make you happy. I am only worthy of love, acceptance, and belonging if I succeed. Now, powered by internal feelings of insufficiency, this person is driven to achieve many things. They're prepared to outwork, outhustle, and outsuffer everyone else because they're not just running toward a life they want, they're running away from a life that they fear. Success and progress ameliorates the feelings of insufficiency. Therefore, success and progress have become prioritized above everything else. Character is at the core of a person, something they can't control, something that comes from deep within, and it causes people to have patterns of behavior. And you want to find people who have a strong character to associate with, as opposed to a weak character. And what a strong character is, is people who are adaptable, who are fluid, who can admit that they are wrong, who can learn from their experience, who can take criticism. So I want you to focus not on people's charming exterior, instead focus on that deep inner quality, that core, that character, because that's who they really are. Your character is creating what happens to you in life. There's the famous quote of the ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus, character is fate. As I continue to experience life and find myself, I realize that hope isn't what I thought it was. Through a lot of sorrow, it's actually been redefined for me. And I ask myself the question, what if my pain is actually my hope? So many of us are at war with ourselves within. We have that inner conflict because we're trying to portray this image that is, you know, acceptable in the world around us that we think is acceptable instead of just staying true to you and yes when you stay true to yourself you're gonna people are gonna look at you a certain way people are gonna try to knock you off your path there's gonna be a lot of external things that you know try to sway you this way or that way but you gotta stay true to you
Here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is gonna turn everything on. So the question you have to ask yourself is, who am I, where am I going, what do I want to accomplish? Three major areas of goals that you have to think about. The first is your personal and your family goals. These are the reasons why you're alive. What do you want to accomplish for yourself and for your family? Write them down, define them clearly. The second set of goals that you have to ask is your business, your career, your financial, your material goals. What is it that you want to accomplish in the external world? Where do you want to make your contribution? The third type of goals you have to ask about are your self-development goals. And in my estimation, your ability and your willingness and your tenaciousness in developing yourself is the key to accomplishing everything else. You know that dream in you that seems out of touch and crazy? Yeah, that one. What if that dream was actually put in you for a reason? Do not buy into the fear that everyone around you calls logic. The dreams that truly make a difference are rarely logical. Be fearless in the pursuit that sets your soul on fire. The proper comparison group for you is you yesterday. First of all, you're the only control group that's appropriate to you because you have a certain set of talents and possibilities and limitations and tragedies that are truly unique to you. Shouldn't it just happen? Well, it doesn't. Basically, life is this way. What you put into it is what you get out of it. People want their life to be free of struggle and conflict. They want a smooth path in front of them. When you face adversity, or, or things aren't going quite well. You have to reassess who you are. You have to reassess your opinions. You have to say, maybe I'm not doing this the right way. Maybe my patterns of responding in the past aren't working out. Maybe there's something wrong with me. How can I learn from this moment? How can I get past this particular obstacle? If you never have failure, if you never have conflict, you are never going to develop yourself in life. Even though you are scared, can you still go through with the task? Even though it's risky and you don't know what's on the other side, can you still stay focused, stay locked in, keep working, and keep pushing forward? That's the person that people want to follow. You know what's the number one way you measure somebody that's hungry? Very simple. Their sense of urgency. That's simple. Let me explain to you why. So people say, well, you have no idea how hungry I am. Really? Yeah. What'd you do about it today? Oh, not today, but tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you ain't hungry, man. You, you just think you're hungry. You are not hungry. Think like the person you intend to become. Ask yourself, how would the person I'd like to be do the things I'm about to do? Everybody in here wants to get to the next level. And very simple, you can make two lists, and I can tell you if you're gonna to get to the next level or not. Make a list of what you wanna to do to get to the next level. And on the other side of the list, what are you willing to do to get to the next level? And if that list doesn't match, you are so far away from winning, you have no chance. You do not have time to fuck around. You don't have time to play games, to be in everybody's face, to not be focused on your goals. Every single day counts. You didn't do nothing yesterday and you didn't do nothing today. Every single day that you don't do nothing, bro, is a day wasted. It's a day that you could have got better. You've developed a false belief system in yourself of what you need to know to take action. 
And so successful people are willing to step into the unknown and the unprepared more than people who are unsuccessful. So procrastination is really saying, I gotta know a little more, I gotta prepare a little bit more, I gotta get a little bit more ready, a little bit more ready, a little bit more ready. And you keep raising the readiness quota to a point where you never take action. Mm -hmm. And so you gotta get to this point where you're like, I'm gonna get into the room, I'm gonna start to write that paper, I'm gonna start the book, I'm gonna get into that, and I'll figure it out when I get there. And most people that are successful have this internal belief system that I don't need to know everything to take action. I just need to know enough to get in the room and I'll figure it out from there. No one has ever, ever achieved anything if they haven't faced failures, if they haven't had disappointments. To achieve anything in life, you have to be prepared to take on the odds, face disappointment. You only lose when you give up. If you do not give up, you will win from the most incredible positions. The fight is in the mind. It's not physical, it's in the mind. What are the things that you fear that's been keeping you from living your dream? That's been keeping you from doing some things that you would like to do? Just think about those things. You must become a vigilant gatekeeper of everything you allow to go into your mind. Anything that gets into your mind is entering holy ground. When you recognize who you really are and why you've been put on this earth, you'll start to understand why the enemy works so hard to stop you. Why the negative thoughts and the self-doubt seem to come at you like bullets out of nowhere. You were not put on this earth to be average. You weren't put here to sit the sidelines. You were not put here to fail. You were given gifts and talents and skills so that you could go out and make a difference. You were put here for a reason and a purpose. You were put here to be great. We all have ambitions. We all have dreams and goals and desires that we want. But really what gets you to where you want are habits, are daily habits. There are negative habits that you can't get rid of. But there are other habits that like discipline, like working every day, like taking steps to get reach your goals that are immensely liberating. And you can get rid of your bad habits through developing positive habits, right? So the goal here is to focus less on the giant dreams and on the everyday process of changing your thinking. It's not really about what you want. It's about what you're willing to do to get it. Uh, and in that, maybe you have to give something up that may not be a good habit to replace it with a better habit. Everybody got to make that decision. So it's not just about what you want. It's about what are you willing to do to get it? That's what it all comes down to, guys. I fail to be at the pinnacle of any game. In any, whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Not a lot of people can understand that. People think being consistent means never falling off track. But that's not true. That's called perfection. And for most, that's just not realistic. Consistency means staying on track most of the time. And when you fall off, whether it was intentional or not, you pick yourself up and you get right back on. Consistency is about being persistent, not perfect. It can do. All it takes is determination. You'll get your chance. Sometimes it doesn't come as quick as, as, uh, as you'd like. And there's a lot of hurdles, but you will get there. You have to believe in that. For kids to bet on themselves. Take some chances, get your knowledge, know what you're doing, and then go two feet in and then bet on yourself. If you go to somebody, you ask somebody and they shoot you down, don't let that be the answer. If you have a passion for something uh -huh. and it's burning, it's your job to curate that passion. I really believe that. Uh -huh. You don't take no's for answer. You never look at yourself in the mirror and say, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. I have standards. I have value. I chose to do that. If you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? Nothing in life is promised except death. 
If you had the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's passed. Seneca said there is no greatness without stillness in it. And I think that's right. What kind of success do you have if you if you miss every sunrise and sunset, if you're always busy, if you never have time with your family, but also if you never have time with yourself. And so if you don't have moments of stillness in your life, I would ask you what kind of life you're living. And if the kind of life you're living is really your best life. If you do not have clear goals for your life, you are condemned forever to work for those who do. You see, in life, it's very simple. Either you are working toward the accomplishment of your goals or you're working toward the accomplishment of other people's goals. Our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions because we can accommodate and adapt. The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. The secret to an art unknown as turning obstacles upside down, to act with a reverse clause, so there's always a way out or another route to get where you need to go, so that setbacks or problems are always expected and never permanent, making certain that what impedes us can empower us. What is a mistake? Everybody will do something which will go wrong. Making something wrong the first time is not a mistake. It is your chance to correct it. But making the same situation over and over wrong again and wrong again because of the unwillingness to learn something from it, that is the mistake. The hardest battle that we fight is between what we don't want to feel and what we know we must do. Following your intuition isn't always rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes it's making decisions for the greater good that really hurt. Just remember, you are choosing what's best for your soul, and that is worth it. Anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. The goal is to die fulfilled. How do you die fulfilled? You have to die unfilled. You have to empty out all of your efforts. You have to empty out all of your knowledge, all of your giving, all of your help, everything you have into making this world a better place, bringing your vision into a reality which should impact many lives. There's, there's a saying, there's a quote that I really believe in that when the pain of the current reality becomes greater than the fear of change that's when we change so like when you become that when the pain becomes so intense that it's greater than the fear that you have of the unknown then you'll go into the unknown i had to convince myself that i'm gonna make it what it does it makes you feel like there's gonna be points that people are gonna mistake my confidence for arrogance they don't understand the process of it Just don't give up, even if right now it doesn't make sense. One day, I'm very, very sure, when you start to see the connections and things fall into place, you will maybe also realize that it couldn't have been different. Giving up was just simply not the question, it was simply never an option. The winners continue where the losers stop. So what stops you becoming 
the fullest version. It's the things in you that whisper to you that you cannot be the things that you hope for. It's not usually prohibitions, it's inhibitions. What stops us are the lies we believe that are not true. Launch towards your goal, never consider the possibility of failure. Always forward, never backward. Always forward, never backward. Never consider the possibility of failure. Your ability to persist in the face of setbacks and disappointments is vital to all great achievement, and it's always a decision that you make. It's not the external environment, it's always the internal environment. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. Opportunity mixed with challenge. We've got a chance to grow like never before, but I'm telling you, there's going to be many enemies that's going to try to prevent us. As soon as you plant the garden, the busy bugs and the noxious weeds are out to take it, and you've got to learn not only to nourish your values, you've got to learn to do battle with your enemies. Whatever threatens you, I'm asking you to threaten it back. Take care of your responsibility, but don't take anything off of anybody. So many people talk about legacy. I want to leave a legacy. They use it in such a way that it sounds like it's easy. But it really, in order for you to leave a legacy, you got to live a life worth recording. One that can be an impact, one that has a voice long after you are gone, an echo that goes into generations long after you've left the face of the earth. Greatness has no moods. You can't just be in the mood to be great. You can't just be in the mood to be a hard worker. You can't just be in the mood to be disciplined. It doesn't work that way. It has to become who you are. It has to consume you. It has to be your identity. Despite what I'm going through, despite my past failures, despite what people are saying about me, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to execute. It's not what I do, it's who I am. And life will seem like it's giving you hundreds of reasons to not execute today, but it's just a test to see how bad you really want it. The version of you that you are right now is why you have what you have. You got to make a complete identity switch to get something different. And so what happens is when people aren't ready to do that, they will, all, will always go back to the low hanging fruit that they are accustomed to because your presence will require something different. So I was just failing. I kept failing and kept failing and kept failing. So I had to teach myself how to fail right. And what that means is when I fail, I can't spend much time in that fail zone. I have to be able to get up and get after the next day just as fast. So the big thing is know that if you have big goals and big dreams, along the way, failure is going to happen. So how fast do you get up from that? The easiest thing in the world to do is to complain, blame, and quit and settle. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. But it takes real work to deconstruct and to reconstruct the thought process and the mindset of an individual when they're trying to change something. You gotta stick to the script. You gotta continue to take steps every single day. Even if things don't always work out, don't waver. Don't just start to go off the path because you're not getting what you want. You know what I mean? And trust the process. Have faith that things will work out. And that this moment, what you're going through is teaching you something. In life, you have to have no fear. You have to have no fear. You have to, you have to believe in who you are and what you do. And just go and get it. What are you waiting for? In all honesty, what are you freaking waiting for? You know, there's not just going to be a day where for no reason, you're going to just wake up and say, I'm going to go to the gym every day in perpetuity. You know, it's that it doesn't really happen. Most people don't lead their life. They accept their life. And when you accept your life, you are living on things that are not worthy of your time and effort and energy. To go uphill, you have to be intentional. Nobody ever went uphill by accident. You've never read a book on accidental achievements. You have to be intentional with what you do and who you are. As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. Your job is not to figure out how it's going to happen for you, but to open the door in your head. And when the door opens in real life, just walk through it. And when I say life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, I really don't know if that's true.
why not take a chance on faith as well? But faith, not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. You know yourself better than anyone, but sometimes you fall into the trap of believing the world. You're the only one who knows what's best for you. You don't need to look for answers anywhere else. They're inside of you. There's going to be noise from every corner. Ignore it. Stay true to yourself, because when you do, every challenge becomes a victory waiting to happen. Every day, sunrise, sun goes down. So that means there is a up, there is a down. Since we are born, we have inhaled 50% of our times, we have exhaled 50% of, of our times. Our heart, the same. Sucking the blood, pumping the blood, also the same. Meaning always 50-50. Always the exchange between left and right. Up and down, bright and dark. In and out. Success and failure. You know the hardest thing to get people about success? The hardest thing is to start. Start, man. Every morning when you get up, say over and over to yourself, do it now, do it now, do it now. I do it now, do it now. Whenever you have this tendency to procrastinate, program your subconscious mind with this automatic conditioned command, do it now, do it now, do it now. The key to overcoming procrastination is to develop a sense of urgency. Be the kind of person who gets things done quickly. Be the kind of person who launches fast on a task five choices you know in our life you know we can be bad at what we do I mean we can be average at what we do I mean we can be good at what we do or we can be excellent or we can be elite all right and everybody has a choice as to what they want to do and how they want to do that but if you're going to be excellent or elite you got to do special things you have to have special intensity you have to have special focus you have to have uh, a special commitment and drive and passion I right, to do things at a high level and a high standard all the time it doesn't matter what god-given ability that you have uh, that probably can make you good but without the rest of it I'm not sure you ever get excellent or elite. It's someone so focused on the future that they don't just live in now. If you're looking over your shoulder over who's coming after you, you can never leave a legacy. In order to leave a legacy, you got to be the one looking forward. You got to see the future and predict the things that come and come off of mute and echo your voice into the future by what you invest in others. It's about your DNA. What are you investing in? Remember that it's not the things that happen to you. Like, you might not be able to control everything that happens to you, right? It's inevitable. Things are going to happen that are out of your control. But the one thing that is always in your control is how you respond, your perspective, your mindset. And that's the thing that you need to be taking responsibility for and taking accountability for, is how you respond to these things that happen to you in life. Things are going to happen. You're going to be hurt. You're going to get faced with adversity. You're going to be heartbroken, right? You might lose somebody. Whatever it may be, there's so many things that will happen to you that aren't in your control. And you need to focus on responding in the way that is going to help you, that is going to nurture you and help you move forward instead of keeping you stuck. Don't really let anybody take away that dream from you. Uh, nurture it, water it like you water the flowers. Even if you find only one person in this world that will that will accept, embrace, and support your dreams. Find that person and dream big because you can make it. The goal that you seek or the prize that you're seeking is in the work that you're not doing. No matter where your goal is in terms of its height or how delusional it may seem, you're still gonna aim for it and figure out whether or not you'll get there later.
Something in you has to wake up. And usually the only person that can wake it up is you. But if you don't have a little flame, you're done. I can't light it for you. And that's the harsh reality of this life that I want to get across so fucking bad. You have to explore, examine the insides of yourself. And what do you really want out of life? Thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. And how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. So if you think insecure thoughts, in a matter of seconds, you are going to feel insecure. Brain is monitoring how you're feeling and you think more insecure thoughts, which then makes you feel more insecure. And the repetition of that cycle conditions the body to become the mind of insecurity. And whenever you say, I am anything, you are commanding your mind and body into a destiny. Even if you're tired, you can still go to the gym. Even if you're annoyed with your spouse, you can still speak in a manner that's loving. Even if you don't feel like doing that hard work, you can still push yourself to do it. Your feelings aren't a choice. Your behavior and your thoughts are always a choice. Life is about loss. As time goes on, we lose fights, we lose people we love, we lose our hair, and then we lose our life. You know? It's all a loss. But by these loss, but from all these losses, we learn so much. When everything is falling apart in your life, when people are leaving you, when people are betraying you, when people are not coming through with their word, are you still going to put in the work? Are you still going to execute? Are you still going to do today what you told yourself that you would do yesterday? Seeing opportunities instead of seeing punishments and instead of seeing downturns in your life, seeing opportunities, it's just going to have such a much better impact on the way you, you know, where you get to. Hold up a constant vision of what it is you want to achieve. See it accomplished and go all out. Find a way to win in spite of the setbacks, in spite of the disappointments, in spite of your failures. I, I tell people, fail your way to success. I have a saying is life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. <laughs> I'm continuing to take the steps each and every day and move in the direction that I know is aligned with, you know, my calling and my truth, then I know that I'll get to where I need to be when I need to be there, right? And all that's doing is distracting you from moving in the direction that you need to be moving into, you know? And the more you focus on what everybody else is doing, the more you're going to continue to make decisions that aren't aligned with what you should be doing.